Welcome to this flow class. My name is Ria, and I'll guide you through a flow class, and it will be the sixth in the series of God's amazing promises. And this promise really spoke to me yesterday, so I just had to share it with you today. In everyday life, in your calling, in your work, family, we can lose our patience, we can lose our courage, and this is when it's so great to hold on to God's promises. And I hope you'll sit down on the mat and just listen with your eyes closed as I read this passage. So sit down, sitting bones on the mat, and maybe you have your hands here on your thigh, closing your eyes, sitting tall. If you feel more comfortable moving as I read this very short verse, we'll come to do that. I'll just begin with a short prayer. God, speak to us. May we enter into your presence of love, grace, and healing. Amen. And listen. Philippians 1, 6. Paul is writing this. He who began the good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. He who began the good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. And before I read it one more time, ask God to reveal to you through the Holy Spirit what this verse might remind you about. He who began the good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. Sit still and stay with the verse for a few more moments or start moving your spine freely here on the mat. Circles or twists or whatever works. The first part, he who started, God who started, it is God's initiative. I like that. As I have said, I think like a million times on my videos, it's not about me, it's not about you and our competences and our abilities to be perfect or do great things. But it's about saying, God, here I am. He will start. 
and have started. <laughs> Work your way around to your child's pose, knees hip width distance, and we're gonna move in child's pose. That's why I want you to have hip width distance. Now take your hands pretty far on the mats in the front. And then from here, move onto all fours with your spine up in your cat pose. Move forward, taking your shoulders back, making sure you're not on top of <laughs> your ears there. Take your hip a little bit down. Make sure you bent your elbows a tiny bit back. Use your core navel in as you lift up through your cat and then back into a version of child's pose. And let's do this with our breath, warming up. Inhale, cat. Exhale, finding your actual version of up dog for you to move your hands if that's better for you. Inhale again up through a cat. And exhale down to child's pose. Continue, inhale, like a big wave rolling up. Exhale, up dog on your knees. Inhale, cat. Exhale, child's pose. Two more times, working slower or faster, ups to you. You are welcome to use your ujjayi breath, that snoring sound on your exhale. Creates a rhythm and engages your core. Next time you're back in child's pose, shake the wrists. Spread out your fingers again, maybe pinky finger, reach the edges of the mat, and then lift up and downward facing dog. Stretching the knees and then bending them one at the time. And I'll make you work through a sequence where I'll add on a few postures each time we repeat the sequence. Let's do a vinyasa. Inhale to your plank, staying on your toes or come to your knees as you lower down with a straight spine. Cobra up dog, shoulders back as you lift your chest. Downward facing dog, hip up and back. One more time. Inhale plank. Maybe ujjayi breath as you lower down. Cobra, up dog, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Awesome. Take your right leg and lift it up towards the sky. We're beginning our sequence. Then tuck the knee underneath your belly. Take the knee to your left elbow. And we're not doing a power class, but we'll still get a little heat in our body. Then lift the leg up and back again, three-legged dog. Remember to breathe. And then step your foot through, lowering down, so knee and ankle above each other. Warrior two, turning the back foot around. And before doing anything more, take your hands on the inside of that front foot and walk your hands back towards this back leg. Bend this knee and stretch and wave with your toes there. You don't have to go low, just a little bit back. Again, walk to the front. Bend the front knee. Lift into warrior two. Arms out and come down with some distance in between your feet. Move your hands around, lift the back heel off, step it back into downward facing dog. Turn on your jayu breath if it's not already there. Continue on the other side, left leg. Lift it up, three-legged dog. We try to square off our hip so we're not opening up our hip way too much. 
small micro bend in the elbows also when you take take a left knee to your right elbow or in the direction of there keep breathing navel in and throw your leg back three-legged dog and then stepping it to the top of the mat Turn the back foot around, looking for heel and heel alignment somewhat. Hands on the inside of this front foot and walk your hands back to the back end of the, of the mat or towards the back foot. Stretch the front leg there, never hyperextending this knee though. Move it back again so that the whole sole of the foot is firmly planted on the mat. Lift up. Warrior two, gaze to the top of the front of the mat. Move your hands around, heel off, step it back, downward facing dog. He who began the good work in you will carry it on, God will carry it on. No matter what we can see or what hindrance or boundaries we feel. Right leg continuing, doing the same sequence, lifting right leg up, exhaling knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. And exhale, step it through. Inhale, turn the back foot around, hands on the inside of the foot. Exhale as you move back, stretch the front leg. Inhale again, walk to the front. Exhaling, finding warrior two. Side stretch, elbow on the thigh and take the back hand, flip it up and then reach forward with a kind of stretching through the pinky finger there. Coming back through warrior two. See if you can keep your balance to lift the back heel up off the mat and find your way into lunge pose. Where the back heel is off again, front knee bent it. Palms together, lean forward. Maybe just staying here or try to take both hands down through the mat and try to kind of shoot <laughs> at your own back foot. I know there might not be a whole lot of space for your, your shoulder there, but just go ahead and do what, what makes sense. Then hands on the mat, maybe the inside of this front foot, then it's easier to step it back to down dog. Shake any tiredness out. Ready to continue, left leg. Inhale, lift it up, taking the part. We have been through a little bit faster. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, stepping it through. Inhale, hands on this inside. Oh, turn the back foot around, hands on the inside of the foot. Exhale, move it back. Inhale, hands to the front foot. Warrior two. Side stretch, elbow on the thigh, and lift over so that you feel some sort of a stretch also here in your shoulder. Make sure you don't squeeze shoulders together, but create length here through the shoulders, opening up. Looking at the ground, trying to find balance. Often we do this the other way around, but from warrior, from high lunge to warrior two, but this time we go from warrior two to high lunge. Stretch the back leg, make sure the pelvis somewhat underneath your shoulder. Palms together. Lean forward, navel in. And again, hands 
towards the inside of the foot and point them towards the back foot there. Getting warm yet? <laughs> I hope so. Both hands on the inside of the foot and step it back. But the work here on the mat is not completed yet. <laughs> but it will come to a completion before the day of Christ, though. <laughs> All right. So the right leg again, adding on the last few postures. Right leg lifted up, inhale. Plank, lift elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, stepping it through. Turn the back foot around, hands on the inside, inhale, walk back and exhale, sit down. Inhale again, move to the front. Exhale, warrior two. Side stretch, reverse your hand, lean forward, exhaling when you're finding this. Gaze on the ground, inhale, trying to find your balance, take it slow. Adjusting your stance, maybe. <laughs> exhale, you high lunge. Palms together. Inhale as you lean forward and exhale as you get your hands towards the back foot. Inhale, rise your arms up again. Take them out to the side and stay like in a cross shape. Now your left hand, try to move that to the front, which means your Left arm moves back, so you're twisting your core, but with your arms out straight. Avoid leaning forward, so the spine is still straight. Keep breathing. Move back. Both hands down on the mat, and now our balance pose. Step the back foot a little bit closer and lift left leg off the mat. See if you can keep your balance coming into a standing pose. We are moving into our eagle stand. Bent right leg and wrap left foot here around as best you can. One time around or two. Make sure you bend your knees and squeeze your thighs together. If you can keep your balance, take left hand, elbow, below and right on top and move your hands around. Sleep an equal if you want to play or feel adventures. Releasing hands, feet, forward fold, feet are aligned. Shake tiredness out. <sighs> Hands on the mat. Either just go back to down dog or take it through your vinyasa. Cobra, if you're doing your vinyasa or up dog. Down dog. Let your heels sink towards the mat without using a lot of effort doing this. And let's do the last side. Left leg, lift it up towards the sky, inhale, plank to right elbow, exhale. Three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, stepping it through. Turn the back foot around, hands on the inside, inhale. Walk your hands back. Exhale, sit as low as possible. Inhale, walk against the front of the mat. Exhale, warrior two. Side stretch or side ankle. Elbow on the mat or <laughs> the little thigh. Gaze on the ground. High lunge or crescent lunge. Lift the heel off. Make sure you're not standing too narrow on the mat. So you might move your feet a little bit. Palms together. Lean forward. Reach the destination of the hands towards the back foot. Again, rise up using the front thighs quite a lot. And let go of your arms out to the side. Right arm to the front, left arm somewhat to the back. 
gaze on the ground or wherever helps your balance. Back to center. Both hands on the floor. Again, going to lift off the back foot. Hands off the mat. Hips are closed as we try to keep our balance moving. Right leg up, crossing it over to eagle pose. As I said before, make sure you bend your knees. And an eagle without wrapping is just as beautiful an eagle as with wrapping. <laughs> Right elbow is the one below or lowest. Once or twice around. Shoulders down. And go for your sleeping eagle or angel. I've heard that call, that name used as well. Releasing. Taking your time as best as possible. <sighs> Mountain pose. Shake tiredness out, close your eyes. If you have felt like God has forgotten you, or feel like you have been pushing or moving and fighting maybe for a good course for a long time. I think this verse is for you. God has not given up even though you might have. He is not done. And God will continue the work in us until the day that we die or when this earth come to an end. God is not done with you or with his calling through you. Let's bow down and acknowledge that with a bit of a stretch. If your hamstrings are really tight, maybe you just stay like this with your hips apart. But if not, right leg stays and left leg crosses over. Blocks might be a good thing here. Make sure your hips are still aligned with the long, short end of the mat for you. Lean forward and try to reach blocks of the floor, forehead, Somewhat towards the front knee, stretching the back. Bent slightly in both knees so it's easier for you to move up standing again. Hips beside each other before we move to the other side. Take your hands behind you, fold them. Squeeze shoulder blades back. Lift up your chest. Surrender and now opening up. Yes, God, you are not done. Maybe repeat that to yourself. God is not done. Release your hands and shoulders. This time crossing right leg over, left. If you stand too narrow with your feet, it might be a little bit difficult holding your balance. Lean forward or just 
do it a forward fold with feet beside each other without stretching or without crossing them is that if that's best Again, bend your knees, step your feet a little bit hip width distance, and then come down on your mat. Move into a spinal twist before rest resting. So first on your mat, and there's different ways of doing this, but I'll guide you through this one. Right leg is stretched out, left leg bend it, and take your left foot underneath right kneecap or knee joint. And then you roll onto the side, your right side. And maybe your hand can reach the side to make a little bit more of a stretch for your glutes here. The arm that's free, opposite direction of the bended knee, moves out. Maybe it reaches the, the floor, maybe not. You can either let your nose point up or let your gaze rest towards the left arm out to the side. If you look at the phrase to completion, it's also the, the phrase to perfection, actually. The same kind of word used there. So God will carry his work on through us, his good work, until perfection. How cool is that? Let go of the spinal twist on this side. Taking a inhale and exhale, resting on the mat before moving to the other side. Stretch left, left leg out, right foot under the knee joint. Move onto the side so that your hips are stacked. And try to relax your lower back. Glutes, legs, not at least your breath. So to inhales, re reaches down. And then move back. Hug your knees in when you're back on your back here. Now, I really wish I could have played a song for you here on the channel as we're resting, but due to royalty issues, I'm not allowed to. But if you like pop songs, there is a link below. I heard the song for the first time yesterday and I just completely fell in love with it. It's a pop song, a little bit upbeat maybe for resting, but I love the lyrics. So if you want to do that, you can pause the video now and just listen for it. If not, I'll advise you to, to find some other kind of calming music um, and rest with that for five minutes or so. I will just read the chorus of this song for you because it's uh, it's powerful i think mm. 
No, my God is not done, making me a masterpiece. He's still working on me. He started something good, and I'm going to believe it. He started something good, and he is going to complete it. So I celebrate the truth that his work in me ain't through. I'm just unfinished. I am just unfinished. You and I are not complete. And let's rest that God will lead us to perfection and to completion through grace. And rest in us being not finished, unfinished. Make sure to listen to the song or find some other place to rest. Trusting God's promise that his good work in you will be done. Amen. Thank you. And God's blessing.